welcome back to my channel mi tutorials in this particular tutorial i am going to teach you how to highlight the sales amount whenever you go through a promotion or a sales or any kind of an event uh, within your uh, chart for example over here uh, so all i have here is sales by every single day uh, and here I have highlighted all of the events that I have for example from 26 January uh, up till uh, 10th of February we ran through a promotional event and I have highlighted that as to how much sales we've made uh, during that promotional period right so this is a very helpful thing to have uh, or highlight in your uh, charts especially uh, when you when you go through sales or your promotion or your markdown uh, events right so i'm going to teach you how to uh, create this so let's get started uh, so i would like to show you uh, what i have here in my uh, data model so i have let me go here so i have an, uh, a table here which basically has start date end date and also the description as to what that particular uh, you know start date and end date means for example i have the first one here as uh, new year promotion you might have different events within your organization which you want to highlight so you can have start date end date and description okay i also have a calendar table here which is created if you want to know how to what is this calendar table and how it is helpful for you there's another video that i have made on my channel please check that out i will also leave a link to that particular video in the description of this video right so i will not get into that so i have a calendar table which is basically uh, connected to my uh, sales records over here order date is connected to the date column here right so let us get started uh, let me bring in a new page over here i'm going to go to the calendar uh, table over here and bring in the date and then uh, i'm going to go to the sales amount and bring in uh, the total uh, sales okay and I will change this to a line uh, chart so that we can get the daily uh, trend. Okay, I am going to change to this and uh, since I have data all the way back from 2014, I'm going to apply a filter on this particular uh, column here to only have data for the year uh, 2021. Okay. I have applied the filter now and the data looks pretty crisp now for the only one year that we have. Okay, I'm going to now create a new measure which will help us identify the events, right? So I'm going to go over here, click on new measure, okay? And then let's call this measure as highlight promotions, okay? I'm going to say is equals to, and then start typing in, uh, let's first create a variable right now, okay? I'm going to go to the new line over here, let's create a variable call it as um, current date current date is equals to max of uh, I'm going to go to the calendar table and bring in the date over there okay I'm going to go to the new line and then get another variable called as uh, number of events okay I'm going to start by typing in the sum x formula okay some x and then going to select the table here which is event dates the table where we have the dates of all of the events okay I'm going to type in comma start typing with integer okay and then within integer let us type in the current date variable that we just created okay comma uh sorry uh current date in calendar okay and start date is going to be our event start date event start date comma and then the end date is going to be our event end date okay let's close the bracket close the bracket close the bracket again so three times we close the bracket and then press enter go to the next line and say return number of events okay press enter all right now let's go to the formatting section of this particular visual over here under data color colors let's click on this fx button okay and the format by, format by leave this at color scale based on field this is where we're going to change to highlight promotions this is the measure that we just created highlight promotions okay 
and then on the lowest value i'm going to change the color here to this particular color okay and then on the highest value i'm going to change the color to this green color okay green or teal color right uh, and then i'm going to click on okay so the moment you click on okay you will see that all of the dates that we had in the cal in the events table are now highlighted you can choose different colors to play around with but uh, this is how you create uh, or highlight events on your sales chart right i hope uh, you found this video to be helpful and uh, please implement this in your uh, sales chart so that it gives a lot of information especially when you're presenting this to your executive uh, leadership team and i'm sure they are going to be impressed and this is a very cool thing to have in your sales dashboard so I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.